What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be doing a video on the pod racers of the Phantom Menace. So if you like this kind of video then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more videos like this in the future. And for the sake of brevity, since both, you know, since the term pod racer can refer to the actual vehicle and the person piloting it, the vehicles will probably just be known as pods most of the time, and the pilots, pilots, or whatever, so. So what is a pod racer? A pod racer was a repulsor lift racing vehicle piloted during pod races throughout the lawless Outer Rim territories. The term pod racer refers to both the pilot and the vehicle, as stated before. A brief history of pod racing. Pod racing history was lost as it is derived from hundreds of different racing sports from worlds uncountable across the Outer Rim. Come 100 BBY, or 100 years before the Battle of Yavin, pod racing was modernized and the pods had been standardized by racer Gustav Wenbus of Malister. Pod racing was considered very dangerous, which led to pod races being known for their fearlessness and skill. Not only were the pod racers pilots, but also mechanics responsible for the building and maintenance of their pods. Racers developed a bit of a roguish outlaw reputation with a swagger to match, rugged, self-made beings who were similar to the gladiators and warriors of old. Pod racers spat in death's face. Master engineers, skilled with tools, and thrill seekers these beings competed at professional and amateur levels in spite of the sport being illegal. Most who became pod racers were of small species such as the Flugrians, with high dexterity leading to better control of their pods, almost always non-human, as the demands of piloting not being suited for the human frame, the Zexto species being multi-limbed, and the dexterous Dugs were the most capable pod racers. Anakin Skywalker was the first human to win a race, and among a very small handful of humans who could ever compete in the big leagues, the pod racers of the Phantom Menace. Here are the 18 racers of the Boonta Eve Classic, circa 32 BBY. Anakin Skywalker, the only human to win a race and a future Jedi. Aldar Bido, a male glimphid from the planet Pluto, sometimes called Hitman, Aside from being a pod racer, he also worked as an assassin and a bounty hunter during the waning years of the Galactic Republic. He was what you call a scumbag, as he was cruel and sadistic, offering his services to the highest bidder, accepting all kinds of jobs like killing high-profile targets or acting as a bodyguard. His pod, a blue Mark IV flat-twin turbojet, known more for its large size than racing acumen, Beto would on occasion hire himself out to other pod racers as a bodyguard. One job, he was to assassinate the Flugrian Borzu Nail. This brought attention to Beto, most notably Nail's son, Cam Nail. Beto then went to Tatooine to race in the Boonta Eve Classic. Cam Nail followed him there. Beto and fellow racer Juan Sandage, a Devlik, planned to kill the Doug racer and Boonta champion Sabulba, which failed. They did try again in the next race on Malastare, but that failed as well. Later, for the 24 BBY racing season, Beto worked as a bodyguard for Sebulba. This partnership didn't last, as Nail, who sent mercenaries after Beto, whom they caught on the jungle world of Barunda, they brought him back to Nail for retribution, and Beto was in the front row for the Boonta Eve. Rats Tyrell a male Alina from the planet Aline Minor. He was a racer who had great reflexes and was well-liked by other regular racers. He took umbrage with Sebulba's cheating ways and vowed to kill him. However, Tyrell died in the Boonta Eve Classic due to his engines being too big to fit the confines of the Laguna Caves, which caused him to crash. His son founded the Rats Tyrell Foundation, which tried to outlaw pod racing. He was also in the front row. Sebulba a male Doug hailing from Malastair, a former slave who, due to his great skill at pod racing, bought his freedom. 
had somewhat of a rivalry with Anakin Skywalker. It didn't take long for the Doug to be the star racer of the galactic pod racing circuit based both on racing skill and his use of violence. Due to his actions, many fellow racers were killed or injured, but he was too popular to be blamed or penalized. He was in the front row. Mahonic, a male grand from the planet Hawk. By 32 BBY, he was an accomplished racer, with fame on worlds such as Ando Prime, Malastare, and Ryloth. His pod was a green Galactic Power Engineering GPE 3130 pod racer, which he used to get several record times. He was also a seller of pod racer parts. At the Bunta Eve Classic, he started in the front row, and during just the first lap, his pod was destroyed by Sabulba. Mahonic survived the crash and competed in the Vinta Harvest Classic race on Malastare. He lost this to Sabulba as well. The Grand put a bounty on Sobulba's relatives due to his attempted murder in the Bunta. Still piloting a GPE pod, he joined the 24 BBY racing season. He held two speed records. His career extended into the 22 BBY season, where the racing circuits extended to worlds such as Felucia and Coruscant. Dud Bolt, a male Vulpterine hailing from Vulpter, he used a battered and scarred Vulpterine 327 pod to maintain an aggressive on-course reputation. He was also, unknown to most, employed as a mid-air bodyguard for Sebulba. He did set records on Malastare, Mon Calamari, and Sullust, and was even considered the favorite for the Malastare 100. During the Bunta Eve Classic, Bolt aided Sebulba in sabotaging the pod of rival Mars Guo. Bolt didn't finish the Bunta as he crashed into Ark Roos's pod. By the 24 BBY racing season, Bolt had been replaced as bodyguard by Aldar Bido, and in 22 BBY, he furthered his fame to the sinkhold planet of Utapau and made enemies with Clegg Holdfast. Clegg Holdfast, a male Nasorian from the planet New Plimpto. His pod of choice was a Kaiser Volvec. KV-99B Wasp. Considered a joke by the other racers, but he made a name for himself as a top journalist for Pod Racing Quarterly. This was his primary career as Pod Racing was just his way to get the inside scoop on Pod Racers. During the second lap of the Bunta, Sobulba caused Holdfast to crash causing severe injuries. Once recovered, he doctored the official records to show that he finished the Bunta in 7th place with a time of nearly 30 minutes. He continued to write for Pod Racing Quarterly. Eb E. Endocott, Esquire. A male Triffian hailing from Triffis. He was a former delivery man on Triffis, known to be a bit of a daredevil, which led him to Pod Racing. He purchased a pair of J930-8 pod engines and a matching cockpit and won three consecutive championships on Malastare, which boosted his ego. Also popular on Barunda, as he excelled in the Fire Mountain Rally, he finished the Bunta in fourth. Gascano, a male Zexto from Troikin, he had 24 fingers total, which allowed for multitasking during races. Calm and cool-headed, unless provoked, which took considerable doing, Gascano preferred to just pass fellow racers rather than destroy them. He placed second in the Bunta. Bulls Roar. A male Sneevel from Sneeve was, along with being a pilot of pod racers, a professional glimmick singer, known for his strong voice and daredevil driving. He sung in the Calarac Amphitheater, on Coruscant, and won the Bunta Eve Classic twice. Ruhr piloted a Bengasi Racing Engines Quadjet 4 Barrel 904E. He finished in 6th, and he eventually fo decided to focus on his music career. Team Toe Pagales, a male Vecnoid from Munus Mandel. He was exiled from his home planet for refusing the marriage of a Vecnoid princess. Down on his luck with no options, he took up pod racing. His model of choice, 
an IPG, X-1131 long tail. He was taken out of the race when some Tuscan raiders shot his engines. Pagalese sustained injuries, including burning off his ears, but he did recover and continued to race. In 11 ABY, he sent Leo Organa Solo a copy of a hollow of Anakin Skywalker's win in the Bunta. Alan Mack, Camnail. A male Flugrian hailing from Plu 4 flew an outdated Kurtob KRT 410C in the Bunta Eve Classic. He was the son of crime lord Borzu Nail. Due to Eldar Beto assassinating his father, Cam wanted revenge, which led to him entering the race on Tatooine as Alan Mack. He finished in fifth place. Enjoying pod racing, he continued in the sport. But this did not stray his true motives from getting Aldar Beto, which in 22 BBY he got his wish as Beto was captured and delivered for retribution. Mars Guo, a male Fui from Fu. He was known as a heavy drinker and liking pretty women and a bit of a loud mouth, which got him into trouble more often than not. He would pick fights despite his small size, which led to him almost always losing said fights. He flew a Color Pondrat plug to Behemoth. He was taken out by Sebulba, throwing a small piece of his own pod racer into Guo's pod. Ark Roos, a male Nucknog from Sump. He was dim-witted and on the racetrack just bulldozed his way through the other racers. Despite this, he was fairly successful. Gardula the Hutt hired him to sabotage Anakin's pod, but being dumb has its disadvantages, and he sabotaged Ben Quadraneros's pod instead. Roos didn't finish the Bunta. Neva Key, a Mel Zamster from Zagoba. He was a daredevil and his Farwan and Glot 8T8 Twin Block 2 Special Pod Racer was known to have cockpit attached to and in front of the engines. Key achieved fame at Barunda and Tatooine. During the Bunta's second lap, Key wandered off course and was never seen again. Juan Sandage, a male Devlik hailing from Ord, Radama. His pod of choice was an Elsinore Cordova Engineering Turbodyne 99U Pod Racer. He used this pod to gain popularity on his homeworld. Popular with the ladies, he had a large following of female fans who watched every race. Due to his species' oddments, when off Ord Radama, he would lose his sense of direction. At the Bunta Eve Classic, Sandage never finished as he crashed into a Jawa Sandcrawler during the second lap. He continued to race, but he died in 29 BBY of senility. Odie Mandrell, a male Urkit from Tatooine. One of the youngest racers, he was barely more than a teenager. His resilient skin, like other Urkit, allowed him to walk away from his crashes almost unscathed, which was useful as he crashed a lot. He favored the powerful XL Brock XL5115 engine as his pod of choice. He was disabled in the pits when a pit droid, Dumb 4, was sucked into one of his engines. He continued to race and eventually in 8 ABY helped Han and Leia catch Kitster Chanchani Banai. Ben Quadraneros, a male Tung from Tund, considered a coward before the Bunta, the only other race Quadraneros raced was the Pufric Circuit, considered the safest and least impressive by the racing elite. He only entered the race due to Bull's Roar betting him 5 million pegats that he didn't have the guts to enter the Bunta. But the Tung did enter the Bunta with a rented BT-310. He didn't even leave the starting line due to his pod being sabotaged. He continued to race the Pufre circuit and even did the Inferno circuit on Barunda, which he did win. And that is all 18 racers of the 32 BBY Bunta Eve Classic. Pod racing has a lot of sabotaging and cheating in it. But I am sure that it was exhilarating to watch, as what we can see in the movie is fun. So let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section. And who's your favorite racer? And which one of these did you think was the ugliest? In my opinion, it's the Flood Rib, but you let me know. 
don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.